Naomi has got every faith that the Lord is going to keep her safe in this storm. And it is such an example to us. Look at that calm. Do you think she thinks that Jesus is asleep in her boat? Nope. She trusts him completely. I pray that I can have that same kind of faith and that I come to the Lord in confidence and faith and that I don't come to him as the disciples did. But sometimes I do and, and maybe sometimes you do too. And let's see how the Lord responds to us when we're not quite like Naomi in the storm. In Mark chapter 4, let's start at verse 37 and go on through verse 41 and see what the disciples learned here about having faith in the storm. And Jesus is so merciful and kind to them, even though they didn't come to him with the best attitude and with faith here. A furious squall came up and the waves broke over the boat so that it was nearly swamped. Jesus was in the stern, sleeping on a cushion. Was he sleeping because he didn't care about them or was he sleeping because he knew that they were all safe because he was there and that he can rest in a storm? The disciples woke him and said to him, teacher, don't you care if we drown? Have you ever come to Jesus that way? Lord, don't you care if I drown in this storm? Well, he does care and he's not going to let you drown in your storm. And he even has mercy when you come to him with that attitude. He got up, rebuked the wind and said to the waves, he didn't rebuke them and say to them, he rebuked the storm and the waves. And he said, quiet be still. That's how he'll speak to your storm. Then the wind died down and it was completely calm. What a mighty Jesus he is. And then he was merciful and taught them the lesson after he calmed the storm. He said to the disciples, why are you so afraid? Do you still have no faith? They were terrified and asked each other, Who is this? Even the wind and the waves obey him. Mm. Lord Jesus, may I be as Naomi in the storm, confident that you will tell it all to be still. In your mighty name.